you for this privilege. Thank you for the grace and the privilege to even attend school. Thank you for the privilege of education. Thank you for the National Youth Service Corps scheme. Thank you for this meeting. So be exalted in the name of Jesus. I ask that the few minutes we'll be spending together will be beneficial, will gain value. We are instructed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Thank you, everybody. Um, I am Emmanuel Oladipopo Adebi, and I'm a graduate student of linguistics at the University of Ibadan. Um, what else? I'm a creative. I'm a graphic designer. I'm, I'm a brand editing designer. I'm a book publisher, book editor. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm a creative. That sums it all up. I served now. Um, that was 2021 Batch B Stream 1. So my state code was um, DT21B0745. Yeah, Batch B Stream 1 Delta State. And tonight, I mean, in very few minutes, I'm going to be talking to us about making the most of our service here. And um, so to go straight to it, um, now the focus of my talk today will be in on that word, making the most, all right? From there, we can see that it means that, I mean, quite a number of things will happen, but the goal is that you ensure that you make the most, that is you um, have like the best profits. It's just like a business, like, making the most of your time, have getting like the maximum, you know, best portion of the thing. And so I believe we know about the service here, we know about the NYC scheme, which is um, the mandatory one year national service that the federal government um, has in place for all graduates of our institutions in Nigeria. And um, I think it was um, started in 1972 under the Gowon regime after the civil war. And you know, it involves a lot of us being posted to different places. We go to serve, in quote, and, um, you know, do a good duty to the nation. Um, so how then do we make the most of it? All right, because I believe a lot of us see, I mean, let me not say a lot of us, many persons see the one-year period as um, a scam. Many persons feel like, oh, I should never have left my hometown. Why am I wasting this one year? And, you know, they tell you that camp is not worth it. It's trash. I mean, it's, it doesn't make sense. Why would they camp you for three weeks? And then you are doing military drills, manual drills that will not help your life. In quote, some will tell you, I mean, lectures are boring. Orientation camp is, oh, wake up 5 a.m., go to bed with the bingo call at exactly 10 p.m. You are so regimented and all those things. They tell you, the many parts is boring. PPAs are bad. They are not paying. You don't have a good accommodation. CDS is nonsense. So CDS, all they do is just come and dance and dance, do all those things. Those things, are, I mean, they exist, all right? But we are not concerned with that. We are not concerned with how that um, many things happen. What we are concerned with, regardless of where you are, how do you make the most of it? How do you maximize it, in, if I will put it that way? And so I would say that to make the most of your service here, there are four things I would like us to consider, all right? And I'll be speaking from my perspective and from the foundation of my personal convictions, all right? And so if it doesn't really go down well with you, I'm sorry for that, but I'm going to be talking from that perspective. And what are the four things? Number one is God. Number two is you. Number three is NYSC. Number four is humanity, all right? So let me take that again. To make the most of your service here, there are four things I believe every prospective call member or every youth call member should focus on. Sorry, permit me to recognize one person here that I really, um, at least I'm familiar with. Um, Bola de good evening. Sorry. How are you doing? Um, I don't know. I think I can teach you with your That name sounds familiar. Um, hola, mi day, Mr. Samuel. I greet you all too. All right. So let me continue. Um, yeah, thank you very much for responding. All right, so like I said, God, you, NYC, and humanity. So I'll take it in that order. Why did I put God first? Well, because um, I believe that I mean, we are created by God, right? And if you are someone that believes in design by creation, like creative design, that 
the universe was designed by a creator, that humanity was designed by a creator, then you should believe that every phase of a human, of a man's life, has certain specifics, has certain things that the designer, that the creator has marked for it. So I believe that if every youth core member is going to make the most of his or service here, it is important that he pays attention to that side of his life. All right? See what God has in store for that. Because I believe that what counts, right? I, I don't jump ahead of myself. I'll say that. But permit me to say it now. I will expand on that later. That what really counts at the end of your service here should not be achievement but should be fulfillment. If you heard that, I'll be glad if you just um, type it in the comment section if you heard what I said, that what counts at the end of your service here is not achievement, it is actually fulfillment. I will expand on that later. But like I said, the first thing is God, all right? Because knowing what God will have you do as a person would help you determine and define how you will run your service here. If I have the time, I would share personal experiences on that. But I think what I've said about that first spot is explanatory enough. If you're going to make the most of that phase of your life, if you won't, you know, um, I mean, I'm a Christian. So my Bible says that um, be not unwise, all right, but understanding what the will of the Lord is per time. Why? Because when you know what God's will is per time, you're able to walk well, you're able to know how to direct yourself. You're able to know how to channel every moment of your service here. So if you know that your service here, God has said, okay, this is the face for you to build and grow. Well, you know how to channel yourself, all right? So that helps you to know how to. So that God factor to me is very important. I should be the first thing we deal with if you're going to maximize our target. Now, I understand that. The second thing I said is you. Now, what do I mean by you? Now, you are a person. If you don't exist, there will be nothing called NYC. There will be nothing called service if you were not born. If you did not go to school, nothing will be called service. So how do you come into play? They're going to make the most of your service. This is where things like your goal, your personal ambitions, your dreams, your plans, your, you know, things you've laid out for yourself in life. This is where they begin to come. So you begin to look at how do I work in the direction of my purpose, in the direction of my um, plans, in the direction of my future, you know, my goals. How do I work in that line during my service here? So you're looking at um, in the next future, you want to be, a serial entrepreneur, then your services should be that time where you also contribute to that aspect of you. You know, just because and I, I, I don't, I, I mean, I don't agree with people. I know that NYC makes some funny postings, all right? I know that, all right? Imagine the civil engineer going to teach physics in the secondary school, SS1, as is not, all right? Imagine somebody that studied law going to work in a ministry of education, Kilo Chembe, you get that kind of thing. So apparently there are cases like that, all right? But I'm saying that that should not be an excuse to ignore you, all right? So you have dreams, you have ambitions, your life goes beyond NYC. And so if you don't make the most of your service, one thing you should do is see how you can channel that phase of your life towards achieving those goals. If, for example, you know, you're going to do a corporate job, you could take NYC as a period to really like take some courses. I mean. And what I say for me, I just, after a point, I knew that I was going to, I mean, so let me merge number one together. I remember before I went for service, I had, like, something from God. I knew specifically that God was telling me that I should invest in myself in my service here. And so, as busy as I was doing my service here, I ensured that I took two courses, professional courses, and I ensured that at least, I couldn't do much, but I ensured that I did a bit in that direction. All right? So... I couldn't do much, to be honest, I couldn't do much for myself. And that's why I'm saying that you should remember that you are a person. In spite of the fact that people will be demanding, can't be demanding, remember you. You know, remember you. Don't lose you. Don't lose your goals. Don't lose your... Uh, um, your, your um, that which you want to be during that space, all right? So one thing you should notice you. So... While you are, you know, some people get into camp and they start doing some funny things, camp dating, 
whatever, whatever nonsense they're doing. You get to their people, you start doing some nonsense. When you have the consciousness of you, when you have, um, you know, um, there's a place in the Bible, Abraham chapter 2, verse 3, where, um, is it 2 or 3 now, where we're saying that, write the vision, make it plain, that it may run that we get it. Meaning that when you, let me, in this context, let me interpret it as, when you have you in focus, during your service, you are able to guide your every step. You are able to know, well, core members are doing this. This is not for me. Why? Because this is the direction I want to go in my life. So when that is in your mind, you are able to maximize that period. You know that, well, this 11 months, you are able to even know how to use Allah we will. You get my point? So that, I, I, I'm saying these things because I may not be able to get into full details of do this, do that, do that. But I'm saying if you have these four things in consideration, you know how to make the most of it. Now, the third thing I said is NYC. Now, the reason why you are going to be in that state where you are posted is NYC. If there's no NYC, you have no business there. You'll be doing something else, right? So one thing you should do is to pay attention to NYC. So NYC has guiding rules and regulations. Right, so pay attention to those things. I mean, people say a lot of things, but see, I believe that this is irresponsibility. Please, are we with me? I'm not seeing any feedback from us, so please let me know so I won't be like I'm just talking into the air. Now, so, um, I believe personally that it is irresponsibility both on your part to NYC and to God, especially if you are a Christian, to God, if. NYC posts you to a PPA and you are ghosting it. I believe it's irresponsibility. Yes. Because I believe it's a different ball game if you resume to your PPA and your PPA says, okay, um, out of five working days, come three days, you have one day for CDS, the other day take it off. That is fine. All right. It's different from you just ghosting your PPA and then your PPA cannot account for you. That is. That is real responsibility because the main purpose of you being there is basically NYC. So you won't maximize your service here if you actually still don't pay attention to NYC. Right? So paying attention to that will know will help you know how to sort yourself out, how to move, how to get the best of those things, how to get the best of your PPA. Alright? So you pay attention to be at your CDS. Be at your PPA whenever you have to be. You know, one thing people don't know is that I mean, the NYC actually counts. Getting a good report from NYC counts. I mean, for example, I when I was leaving my service, I got the state coordinator's certificate of commendation. Yes, because to be frank, as I served, my PPA knew me. Yes, my PPA knew me. I I mean, my PPA. I served at a school, I taught there are five working days, right? Monday to Friday. My CDS is on Wednesday. I'm in the band CDS. I was at the state capital, so I'm in the state band. I'm the I'm one of the least top top saxophonists. By the time I was almost leaving, I think for like two, three months, before the end of my service, even not four months, I was the vice president of the band CDS, Community Development Service. Right, I was the vice president. And it was only maybe on one or two occasions that my CDS coordinator called for band. Diamond and Adebu did not show up. She, she has that record. That there was not a day that Emmanuel Adebu Adebu missed CDS or missed a band outing without a genuine reason. So I'm saying that, pay attention to that because that's one thing that will also help you grow. I mean, there are, I know some CDS are trash, all right? They do not nasty things. But it is so because people choose to do that with their time so if you know that cds is also a platform for you to serve you would see how you can work to make it better all right i mean it takes same people to get same results right so if people don't think right whatever they do will not be right and that's why you see some cds groups doing nasty things in my opinion right so paying attention to what nyc has sent you to do would also be a way 
to make the most of it because you know that you are not wasting your time. Attach a purpose to it. I was teaching English in SS2, but I wasn't just teaching English. I saw it as a platform to impact lives. So for me, it was beyond English. So as much as I taught my students English, there were days that I entered class and we couldn't even do English. Out of 45 minutes, we didn't do English for more than 10 minutes. We spent the remaining 35 minutes doing something else, which was beneficial to them. There were some of them that, were, that would still tell me to do their uncle, when you're getting married, I'll be at the wedding. That, for me, that's a good testimony for my service. I made the most of it, right? Now, that will lead me to the fourth, humanity. It is called National Youth Service for a reason, because you are meant to serve, right? And now beyond whatever NYC will tell you to do as a means of service, you should also pay attention, what, attention to what you can do to serve, right? You might not have money to run a personal project, but that doesn't mean you can't focus on humanity. There are people that would need your help. There's something you know that somebody in that community, you might post it to a village, but I mean, what if, just imagine that it was because of a small girl, that you were sent to that village. Imagine that was because of a small boy that needed your encouragement, that needed your um, wisdom to survive in life. Imagine that that was why you were posted to that school. Okay, so you are professional, yes. You studied a professional course and they put you somewhere. And I'm not saying if you can redeploy. I'm, I'm, I'm against those who redeploy with lies. That one. I'm against that. I'm saying if you get a legal and proper way to, okay, get a change of pay, fine, all right? But I'm saying regardless of that, wherever you are, find a way to impact somebody because that is one way of actually making the most of it. NYC will be a waste if you went and you saved your old 3 k because your PPA was paying you extra allowing. You saved your 3 k so at the end of the service here, you had 330000 because you did not pay tight. I mean, if you believe in it, it's fine. If you don't believe in it, fine. So you had all of that to yourself, good for you. But to me, that is not the best you can do in that 11 months. That's not the best because if I'm going to make the most of your service, you should concentrate on those things. God, you, NYC, and humanity. Let somebody feel your impact in that place. All right? Let somebody know that you came. My PPA is called Niger Mix Secondary School, and I can tell you that in the whole of SS2, A1, A2, B, and C, if not 100%, 80% of those students knew that I served. Yes. The teachers knew that I served. And to me, that's what counts. I said earlier that NYC, I mean, I said that the um, one thing you should look forward to in NYC is not just achievement, but fulfillment. And this is what I meant. That you should leave NYC, not just saying, that, okay, I took five professional courses, so I have five certificates from NYC. Okay, I got the... Um, Federal Government Award, the Presidential Award for NYC, that is good. I'm not saying that is bad, but I'm saying that make NYC a fulfilled person, that you know that, okay, I did something significant, right? To me, that's the best way you can make the most of it, because it's just a time, it's just a small chance you have to impact somebody's life, and that's why I see NYC as, that, I mean, my greatest testimony from NYC, the fact that I say I didn't save much from NYC. I think all I saved from NYC was maybe like fifty, sixty thousand, eventually, because there are people I used my money for. Some I borrowed, some I gave, some I put. I was in SCF, so some of my money went to SCF. At least my first salary went into SCF, thirteen thousand, bam, straight, tight, SCF, offering SCF. So. I didn't say that much, right? But when I was leaving, I left NYC very fulfilled. Why? Because my goal for NYC to be very sincere was very simple. Number one, impact people. Number two, go for rural rugged. Now, that is me. Yours might be different. All right? I'm saying that go for NYC in the context of a decision, a personal goal, because that's actually what will help you. That's why I listed that those four things that you look at, they're going to make the most of it. God, you... God is where purpose comes in. That is where divine leading comes in. If you're someone that believes in that, and I don't think you should not believe in that anyway. I don't see why you shouldn't believe in that. God, you, you is where your goals, your passions, your um, desires, that's where they come in. Have the, those things in view. NYC itself, what NYC has sent you to do in that space, and humanity, that is 
have it in mind that you want to impact somebody. Yeah, I was going to talk about my biggest testimony in the Should I, if, 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 if I, it's, it's something humbling for me, really. Within three months of getting to my PPA, okay, I, I resumed my PPA in August. I started working effective, I mean, finally in September because the school was on break. So I had like close to a month to chill. Was it close to a month or like two, three weeks to chill at home? And by the time we started, we resumed like two, three months into it. I mean, Oba said I mean, I better say Oba said I will preach. Yes, it's a default setting. I talk about Jesus almost every day. And then I was in class that day. And after teaching them, I said, okay, guys, let's talk about Jesus. And I talked about Jesus. And I said, if you're in this place, you're smoking, you're watching porn, you're masturbating, it is wrong. See me after this class. That, in my mind, I'm expecting that nobody will come. That day went, nobody came. The next day when nobody came. The third day, a girl came. And I was very scared like Jesus. And you know how things can be teacher student relationship all those things so i'm like hey whatever you want to say say it fast so i can refer your friend and then the next thing this girl said was is that a crime he said oh cool tell you won't tell anybody what you're about i said okay fine i won't tell anybody in my mind of my need i was going to report to whoever i saw me to in that phase of my life i said uncle i masturbate i said what she told me she's been dealing with it for three years and to cut the long story short to god's glory within three months by God's grace, all right? All I did was show her Jesus. Give her Bible. Show her scriptures. We did a couple of Bible studies with other students. She was done with masturbation. To me, that's like the biggest certificate I got from NYC. And I'm done. I, I, to me, I made the most of myself. The fact that, and not just her, uh, there are other people that got instructions. There are other people that got wisdom on how to lead their lives. Because I served in that school. I know that because I served in that school, at least I can count 10 persons that would live better lives. So me, I've made the most of my service. If I didn't save more than 50K, I'm fine. Why? Because if I look at the scale of my preference, looking at God, me, NYC, and humanity, I'm fine. I've made the most of it. All right? I left NYC with extra certificates. To me, that's good. All right, so I'm saying that I'm not. I'm not here to give like okay, do this. Um, don't spend your alawi and um, save this. If you're in Abuja, you can't save alawi. If you're in Abuja, see, <laughs> unless God help your life, you can't save your alawi to be sincere. Because someone was saying that I'm um, alawi is 30k, transport fee is 60k. How much do you have to save? You get the point. I'm saying that there are different things that work for you based on your different postings. But I'm going to say that the core thing is you have those four things in view, right? You have those things at the front burner as the things that count, those things that matter. You are able to make the most of it. So I'm not here tonight to say, do this, do that, do this, do that, and come, do this, and come, don't do this, uh, and don't go to my market, don't go to this, uh, don't eat this, uh, ghost your... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not here to say that. I'm saying that these are the things, these are the four pointers you need to look at. If you're going to enjoy your service here, have, and I'm going to emphasize that number one, have God in mind. All right? God. Number two, you. You as a person. You as a person that has a purpose. You as a person that has a destiny. You as a person that has a goal that is going somewhere in life. You as a person that beyond them wise, you know you have things to do. You have a company to start. You have a business to run. You have... I don't know if you get my point. So you, number three is NYC. NYC sent you there for a reason. Focus on that. To me, that is one way to get that done. And number four is humanity. Don't just serve. Get Alawi, get double Alawi, make money and leave. Let somebody feel, I mean, feel your impact. And when you have those four things as the core or whatever you do, that would help you. All right? That would help you make the most of it. That will help you get the better part of yourself. Because the fulfillment that you derive from settling those four things, I tell you, is nothing compared to what you get from saving, a, from saving one million. I mean, if one million is a goal for you, and you see how you can make the... I mean, 
by all means, when you look at, there are a lot of things embedded under those four, but because of my limited time, I have to crumble those things under four. If you focus on you, that's what you attend courses, you see skills that can help you, take those trainings, focus on Saeed, all those things. They are all part into those four. It's, it depends on how well you can think about it. Okay, you know that God is key. You take your, you, as a Christian, if you are, you take your spiritual life serious, you know, contribute to the cause of God's kingdom during that time. You're happy with that. You're fulfilled with that. You, you know, focus on yourself. You know that NYC is also important. So you attend your PPA, do that well. You don't have bad records there. I mean, there were days I didn't go to my PPA. Fine. There were days I didn't go. But every time I was not available, my school teachers could still vouch for me. The day my LGI came to this school and I wasn't around. My HOD called me and said, LGI came and I told her that you went for CDS. They would vouch for me. I became the reference point. They had ghosting coppers. My HOD come and say, see, see that copper in my name. He's always coming. How many times I come in a week? Three times in a week. Simple. Yet I was reference point for consistency and dedication in my VP. You see life? Three days. But I was doing my duty. Right? So, that is very important, right? Now, the, the last thing I said is humanity. Serve people. Bless somebody. Impact somebody. Let somebody remember you that, okay, that person came. Oh, you're working in the hospital. Impact somebody. You can't... You get my point. You're working in... Okay, they posted you to the worst of all places. Make a mark there. Let somebody feel your impact. Let somebody know that you came to that city to serve. Let somebody know that you came to that village to serve. And I believe that if you... If you... If you... Um, focus on those things you'll be able to actually make the most of your service you'll be able to get the best out of it and that's why i'm going to be wrapping up with what i said earlier that the main goal of service here is not about it's not just about achievement alone but about fulfillment the best is that you leave service fulfilled 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 i'm not here to preach right so but let me reiterate that leave service here fulfilled and one of the things that will get you fulfilled is that you impact somebody. All right? Impact somebody. Leave service here knowing fully well that you impacted somebody. And somebody will run with a seed of what you've sown in their life. And they will become greater and better for it. And with that, I believe if you look at those four things, let me repeat them again. God, number two, you. Number three, NYC. Number four, humanity. Impact, right? If you look at those four things, you'll be able to make the best of it. And I tell you that you leave service here very fulfilled. Regardless of how many things you're able to, you know, I mean, whatever you want to cramp into those four things. I believe I the major of those four things, I tell you, you leave service here fulfilled. You leave service here accomplished. You leave service here happy and you have made the most of it. Thank you very much. I will take our questions as they come in. Maybe there are things I didn't like really branch into. I just wanted to look at those four things and, you know, Help us see the concept I'm talking about. Thank you very much. Mr. Alba, over to you, sir. Okay, okay, I think I get that. I think I get that. I think I get that now. Yes, yeah, so um, this is like a major concern right now in Nigeria. And um, to Fagans and say, it's people get really scared of going for service because of the security situation and all that. And so what I would say is um, there's always a middle ground, right? Um... Okay, personally, I wanted to go up north. All right, I wanted to go up north. I wanted to go up north, but eventually, I was posted to Delta State, and um, I mean, it was not a bad idea for me. I wanted to go to the north because I had not gone to the north ever. I mean, I would only been to the north central, I think, like twice. Yes, twice. So I wanted to go up north, but. I couldn't, so I was at Delta State. But I think the way to balance it is um, number one is um, see if you can, if you get your call up letter and where you um, are posted is somewhere you think is favorable, why not move? I think um, what we would do nowadays is that they just um, take up like deployments the next stream so maybe they deployed you to i mean to borono this time around and you share so you say okay i'm not going some people don't go but they will list in the second in the next stream hoping that nyc would uh, give them a better placement all right and some people like kind of find a means you know 
Now, I know that people are doing legal. I mean, one of the ways, one of the legal ways to do your redeployment, uh, at least I know that one very well in camp, is to actually work well at camp. Because I know that um, um, platoon officers and other NYC officers at camp have like a half slots whereby they can redeploy people. I think I'm sorry talking about redeployments now. They can work on redeploying people. So they have that slot and they give them the chance. Okay, see that some people are really like good. So they tell them, okay, do you want to redeploy? If yes, let me have your details and they work on it for them. But I think the best way to balance it is just to, um, really, I think a lot of things we do in Nigeria is just hope, <laughs> hope and prayer. Hope that you are not posted. At least I know someone that was posted to, one of my colleagues presently in school was posted to, River states like the water area. Is it River State? Yeah, I think it was River State. And I know someone that was posted to presently, yeah, I have another person serving that was posted to River State, right? So, and sometimes another thing I realize is some places are not as bad as we see them, all right? So it depends on you really just hoping that and praying, really. I think if we're going to look at it, that NYC doesn't like do some funny posts, but eventually those are the carry to some of those states too. That's the human. So it's just really hope. And if you get a chance, a legal chance, my emphasis on that, a legal chance to be in a proper place. Why not? It's a good thing. Take it up and do your best because eventually you don't want to hurt your parents. You don't want to, um, let your parents be in fear about your well-being, all right? I'm sure I didn't, like, give do justice that question, but I think whatever I said should help, you know, how to navigate that because I think that really happens whenever you see your call-up letter and before you see your call-up letter, you don't really know exactly what's going on. So I don't know if that helped just for And yeah, so talking about insecurity, I think um, one thing core members should also learn to do now is to um, be very security conscious themselves. I remember while serving as a I when I came in, core members do not wear their uniforms. The only time we wear uniforms is for official activities. Maybe there's a parade, you know, there's an official event. That's when we wear it. Why? Because of security issues. So core members don't even, the one that people in some places where they are khaki as though it is a, a medal, when it up and down with their cap and all those things. In Delta State, they don't want to like my, about a month or two before I left, when the LGI had to mandate us to start wearing it. It was just within Asabado. We never wore our uniforms for security reasons. So come and to be careful. You could hold your ID card. I mean, you have to hold your ID card with you, you know, some other things. But you also have to be security conscious, master your environment and all those things. Regardless of where you're posted, whether it's where we call it safe or is somewhere like really, really still dangerous. I mean, someone like Mr. Oba served in Sakoto State. So I think he's someone that can talk to us more about those northern areas and how to handle them. Thank you very much. So um, there's a lot of questions. I'm really um, glad. I'll be glad to provide answers and help. Maybe there's something I said that wasn't clear, or there's something you hoped I was going to say that I didn't say. Um. Okay. Since I'm not getting any response on that, um, permit me to just um, say this, and I would um. Well, <laughs> Google Meet says we have 15 minutes left, so. Um, we'll have to, have, do, I don't know why Mr. Oba is unable to really get back into the call, but I believe he has, I, I'm sure it's due to the network, so I believe he would find a way to um, contribute his part. Um, let me say this and then I would um, end this session with us because I think, uh, I mean, Google will eventually log, I mean, log us out in the next 14 minutes they're about. So let me say this, that. Um, eventually, for uh, when it comes to, let me just say this about camp. Camp is, um, I believe you've heard a lot about camp. So, what are the tips, major tips to know about camp is like, you know, take a lot of money and um, 
travel light. That cannot be overemphasized, but at least take things that will make you comfortable in terms of, you know, personal effects, um, consumables, foods, and all those things. Just take things that would at least ensure your well-being during that time. Service can be, will be very stressful, especially that um, phase of, um, that, that three weeks phase in camp will be very stressful. But if you really, really learn to manage it properly, you can make, you can enjoy it. I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Oh, Mr. Van Wilkop, sir. Um, eventually now, Google is going to log us out in like a few minutes. I think we have 14 minutes. So I was just going to, yeah, I was just thinking maybe I'll just um, get questions and then log off at this time. Then you continue later on, sir.